What's up? This is Level Cherry. If you like this video, hit subscribe. I want to show you how to find the hidden locations in The Sims 4 and step by step what you got to do to unlock them. Hidden lots, you say? Yes! Hidden secret lots! The game has been out for several years and still most people would not have even found one of them. And I tell you, you're missing out. The secret hidden locations are amazing. They look great. They are interesting. They are awesome. Great awesome secret lots that you probably have missed out on. So watch now how you can unlock the hidden locations in The Sims 4. And hey, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. So there are two hidden worlds that you can access with the base game. The first one is in Willow Creek. It is right next to the Creek Cabana lot. So I'm gonna move a random sim in to this lot to be able to get access to the hidden location. When you're at the Creek Cabana lot, you go here to the right and move up the camera a little and there you can see a tree. Now your sim will have to interact with the tree. In the beginning we will only be able to press view, but then you have to water the tree. I think you have to do this twice for it to enable a new interaction. Now we can comment on leaves. We do that two or three times and what happens is that the tree is gonna open up. So we will actually able to get into the wormhole. Now we can explore. And your sim will be going into the tree. This will lead to a dialogue where we can choose different interactions and we gotta make sure that we press the right answers. So we have to make sure that we press follow the sound. Now we will have to wait a little bit. And we press travel downstream and enter the mist. And this is how we can travel to the glade, which should come up in the next window. Now we're gonna press OK. And there we go, Sylvan Glade, the first hidden location. This area is really pretty. Everything is kind of pink and reminds of fairies. There's a lot of flowers and there's heaps you can find. So there's a couple of rare plants here and there's fish in the glade. If you are an angler sim, you will have to catch the tree fish here. That's the only location where you can find the tree fish in the whole game. Now we can see a little beautiful rainbow. There's some gleaming ice there, but that is just kind of decoration. They can't actually do anything. Everything is pretty with the lights and there's a lot of plants here. So there's also a little pond right here. And you can go fishing or go for frogs. There's a few insects and collectibles and rare flowers and plants that you want to look at if you want to finish your collection. There's little sparkling lights that kind of look like fairies. Everything is really pretty and beautiful. Everything here is very beautiful. We're looking for frogs. And there's more gleaming ice right here in the mist. But as I said before, they won't do anything. It is just decoration. So this was Sylvan Glade. The next hidden location is in Oasis Springs. So it will also be available if you have the base game only. It's right behind the land grab lot. So I'm going to play Jeffrey land grab. And from the land grab lot, you go to the back and then slightly to the right. And there you can see an old mine entrance. To gain access to the hidden area, you will have to have the handiness skill level 10. Otherwise you won't be able to remove the boards. Okay, we dig here. There's some rare metal around or material, I mean. Now Jeffrey Landgrab will be able to explore. 
And this triggers another dialogue where we will have to press the right answers, otherwise we're gonna get thrown out. And that leads to an embarrassed mood. So we don't want that. So we make sure we take the white path. Now it's gonna take a little bit till we can select the next answer. And now we climb the ladder. And we wait for a little bit again. And we make sure we step on the ledge. Now we should be able to travel to the forgotten grotto. Travel to the grotto. Okay. And here we go. The forgotten grotto. Which is very pretty again. We have lots of lights here. A lot of collectibles to find. Rare items to collect. For example, the bed fish is only available here in the Forgotten Grotto. So again, if you are a sim that loves fishing or you play a sim that loves fishing, you want to get the bed fish here. You can also get some uh, collectibles that you can dig up here. You can catch some frogs and insects and there's going to be some minerals and rare plants. So make sure you're going to grab the onions and the mushrooms once you're here. Now I'm going to show you how to access the next hidden location. I'm just going back to Oasis Springs. You can do this from anywhere. The most important part is that you have the Get to Work expansion pack. And you will have to be a scientist in level 10. You might not directly have to be level 10, but you have to be really far because you need to build a wormhole generator and be able to upgrade it. So we're just going to upgrade the wormhole generator here. And that takes a little bit. And after we've done that, we have to place the wormhole generator into the world. I'm going to use Jeffrey Landgrab again to go to the planet Zigzam. I think that's how you pronounce it. Okay, we put the one more generator here and now we travel to the alien world. I'm not taking anyone. I'm just going by myself. Okay. And there we go. There's a portal that opens and we're going through it. And there we are on the alien planet. It's so nice and beautiful. I love all the fluorescent lights. And there's a lot you can find here. So grab whatever you can grab because there are rare elements, rare material, beautiful crystals that you can find and plants that you can only get here. There's a kill fruit for example, the wild orb, a fang flower. What you won't find is fish because the only spot that looks like water here is basically just decoration. There's no fishing spot on this planet. But with a little bit of luck, you will be able to make some contact with locals. You will find aliens here on this planet. You get to wait around for a little bit because I think they come after like two hours you spend on this planet. I haven't met them any earlier than two sim hours. So I'm just gonna wait around, collect some more rare items. Make sure I'm getting everything that I can grab on this planet before I'm getting back through the wormhole. Okay, so my Jeffrey Landgrab has found an alien now. You can make friends with the alien the same way you interact with any other sim. And that was the planet Zigzam, and we're gonna go into the next hidden location. This is in Granite Falls, so you will have to have outdoor retreat for this one. From here you will have to visit Granite Falls Forest. The next entrance is a little bit tricky to find. So you zoom out on the lot, make sure you see the cabin from this particular angle so you find it easier. We go past all this, the fire pit and the campground or whatever it might be, and we go straight to the back. And at the back, there's a little gap here, and we zoom in and you will see there's a little shrub that looks like a gate. 
There we go. My Jeffrey Land Grab is waiting here for me. I'm going to explore now. And again, we have to select the right answers in the dialogue that's coming up now. So first of all, we step forward. Now it's going to take a little bit and we're waiting for the next window to pop up. And here we select go through the web. Make sure you press the right answers because if you don't, you will going to be kicked out again and will have an embarrassed mood. Now I'm choosing Sally Forth. And then we're almost where we want to go. There's one more selection to make. And now the dialogue is coming up and we want to go closer to the sin. Okay, we can travel. We will be transferred to the loading screen again and afterwards we will be arriving at the deep woods. The special thing about this secret area is that you can find the hermit's hut. And of course the hermit living in it. The hermit's garden is full of rare plants, so make sure you grab everything you can because the blackberries you can only get here. There's also some strawberries to find and different kind of plants that you definitely should grab if you like gardening or if you collect everything. There's great things to find here. Also, you will only be able to find the walking stick, the dragonfly and will-o'-the-wisp here in this hidden area so make sure you explore everything and take your time as i mentioned before there's a sim that is exclusive to this area and we will have to find him because if you make friends with this sim because if you make friends with this sim he will not only give you some good gardening tips he will also give you a recipe for a fertilizer that you can actually just get from him and make sure you go fishing because the rare mountain lion fish is available here. So that's all the hidden words in The Sims 4. If I had to pick a favorite it probably would be Planet's Exam just because I'm a huge alien fan in The Sims from the start. Let me know which one is your favorite hidden world. Thank you so much for watching. This is Level Cherry and stay sweet.